Hey guys, Huawei is on fire. As we all know that recently announced Huawei Mate 20 Pro and Mate 20X are the most complete and most powerful phone right now and I personally like these phones but seems like Huawei is taking it even further and plans something extremely big. So first up, talk about the Huawei P30. So as I said before earlier this year that Huawei is gonna implement this cutout camera on the Huawei Mate 20 family but at that time it was not possible but still they created most beautiful design ever. Even because of Huawei, Samsung changed their plans for their 10th anniversary Samsung Galaxy S10. Previously, they decided to go with this design, but now they went with this design to rival the Huawei phones. But Huawei is also going with this display cutout design. Recently, Huawei filed a patent in which, as you can see, the cutout is in the shape of airpiece. Maybe this would then be used to house the airpiece and any other sensors that may be necessary up front. One thing that does remain unclear though is the placement of the selfie camera. After all the cutout depth doesn't appear big enough for the sensor, maybe we'll see more about it pretty soon. But remember, rumors claims that this design is going to be happening on the Huawei P30 family. Also, Huawei is gearing up to produce next generation 7 nanometer process chipset for their 2019 smartphone. According to CNMO, a successor to the current 980 is already in the works. Sitting unnamed industry chain sources, the publication states that Huawei Huawei is developing its next generation 7 nanometer process chipset Kirin 990 in collaboration with TSMC. The new processor will supposedly feature a performance increase of 10% while simultaneously consuming 10% less power than its predecessor. Furthermore, the Kirin 990 will also come with Huawei's first 5G modem, allowing for ultra fast download speeds and lower latency. This new chipset is expected to power the upcoming Huawei's first foldable phone, which we talk about in a bit. Also, it will power the upcoming Huawei P30 smartphone. Also, reports for the claim that the Huawei P30 will be the first smartphone of Huawei to feature four cameras on the back. Yes, four cameras. The configuration of this four camera setup is unknown right now, but it is confirmed that this four camera setup will give an optical zoom up to 10 times. Yes, you heard that right. 10 times optical zoom on a smartphone but we'll see more about it pretty soon when there will be more information about it but at this point in time it seems like huawei is doing amazing job and we'll see some amazing things from huawei in 2019 year also huawei is working on its own operating system as well as own voice assistant recently huawei ceo richard yu gave an interview with cnbc in which he confirmed that huawei's ai voice assistant will launch globally pretty soon and he further said that the upcoming voice assistant would be a direct competitor to Google Assistant, Amazon's Alexa, and Apple Siri, all of which already have a global presence. And you guys probably remember after the global announcement of Kirin 980 chipset, Huawei CEO gave an interview in which he told that Huawei is also preparing its own operating system that they'll implement in future Huawei devices maybe in 2020. He also said that at the initial time it will China exclusive. He doesn't reveal anything about global appearance of it but obviously they at least tried in their global version devices after the success in China. But right now as for the AI voice assistant it will make its global appearance in 2019. Also, Huawei has been actively working on a foldable phone that will also carry support for 5G connectivity. Around two months ago, the Chinese manufacturer had confirmed that it will be launching its first foldable 5G phone within a year. Fresh information revealed by ET News recently that the Chinese manufacturer has already showcased the final product instead of a prototype to the carriers in South Korea. And Industry Insiders has claimed that Huawei had indeed shown a completed foldable phone. However, he refrained from revealing the specifications and usage patterns of the smartphone. It appears that South Korea could be one of the first market to receive Huawei's first 5G foldable phone since it is the only country along with the US where commercialization of 5G networks are expected to happen by the first half of 2019. And in the second half of 2019, the 5G networks may get commercialized in Japan, China and Europe. Probably the phone may release in the second or third quarter of the coming year. The report further reveals that the Chinese manufacturer may show Showcase its first foldable phone at MWC 2019 in February next year. The handset will reportedly featuring flexible OLED panels supplied by BOE Display Maker, and furthermore, it is expected to feature just one flexible display that will be folded outwards. I personally like Samsung's approach where the flexible display will be folded inwards and there will be a secondary display outside of phone, but still, nothing is confirmed officially by Huawei themselves. Now, as 
for the display sizes, when the device is unfolded, it will offer a screen space of 5 inches and when unfolded, it will provide a screen area of 8 inches which is a little bit higher than Samsung's foldable phone. Furthermore, it is also expected to feature an in-display fingerprint scanner same like the Huawei Mate 20 Pro, triple rear cameras and a bezel-less design. Also in an interview with CNBC, Richard Yu, CEO of Huawei, further said that in 2019, they will be very close to number one smartphone in the world and in the year 2020, they will beat Samsung and become the world's largest smartphone vendor. So let me know what you think about it, is this really possible for Huawei to beat Samsung and what you think about the 2019 year of Huawei and what do you expect from Huawei in 2020 let me know in the comment section below I'm eagerly waiting for your comments and yeah be sure to subscribe for more upcoming videos like this and yeah I will catch you guys in the next one see you soon